This is my first year at Overland Expo and I'm so, so thrilled to be here. So yeah, dogs really like it. I, I don't know about this, but I'm about to get on the back of uh, Tim's bike and I, I, I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Look, I have a passenger. I made it to the Grand Canyon. I can't believe my luck, you guys. I managed to snag a campsite at Bryce Canyon. Good morning, beautiful people from Overland Expo West in Flagstaff, Arizona. If you are new here, my name is Amanda Zitto. I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to use some general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. As you can see, my setup is a little bit more elaborate than normal. The wonderful people at Onyx Off Road were kind enough to tote my big sunshade for me so that I wouldn't have to carry it on the bike. This is my first year at Overland Expo and I'm so, so thrilled to be here. I've already met wonderful people like the No Tears, Tim and Marissa. Two Up and Overloaded is their book. I talked about it a little while ago in like my favorite motorcycle books video. Uh, if you do not know who they are, I will also link their YouTube channel down in the description so you can go check them out. They're wonderful human beings. They went all the way down South America, two up on that bike and half of Africa. <sighs> but right now, the wonderful Pete and Lisa have made me breakfast and I'm going to go get that. <laughs> There's Pete. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> are you are you gonna are you gonna pour it for this me? Looks high. <laughs> Here we go. If you do it this way, you get the sunlight against the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Sheepskin. So we were in Peru and I asked this lovely little lady in the middle of absolutely nowhere if she had a sheepskin. She disappeared for like half an hour and came back with a sheepskin with feet on it and chunks of fat and it wasn't <laughs> like this isn't pure. It's like when you think of like a rabbit pelt. You got a it's like, like Yeah, we got it. Yeah. So it, yeah, dogs really like it. I don't know where winter's at, but oh she's good. Oh, she <laughs> Tim's bike and I, I, I feel like I'm gonna regret this. Not the most responsible thing you've done today. <laughs> yeah, definitely not the most responsible thing. It was much more comfortable than I thought it would be. It's not scary. It's not scary, no. Look, I have a passenger. <laughs> All right, are you ready? Drive like a jerk so she thinks I like her. Let me just go right into the hole. That sounds good. <laughs> Here we are. Ta -da! Good morning, beautiful people from Overland Expo Day 3. Our wonderful friend Jess from Sound Mind Adventures is going to take off today because the weather is gonna turn for the worse uh, tonight and tomorrow, I think. It's predicted to rain a bit. I'm sticking it out, you know me, I'm doing a thing. But it has been so, so lovely getting to hang out with Jess. We'll have a safe ride. Thank you, thank you, I will. Yay, definitely go subscribe to Jess. I will leave her stuff down in the description. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I did get to attend the moto party last night, which was awesome. Thanks so much to everybody who makes that possible. It was a blast. I did win a little gift certificate to Ruby Lights, which was super exciting. I got to meet Bill Dragoo and Sterling and Bill Whitaker. <laughs> and I just, I'm, I got to meet a lot of awesome people. <laughs> Well, I guess that's it. I just said goodbye to Tim and Marissa from Front Tears No Tears. It's very sad. I will miss them very much. I became very fond of them in a very short amount of time, but it is time to go home. I do have a couple things that I want to do on the way home, so 
the journey is not over. <laughs> and uh, tonight we're going to find a hotel because all of my gear is wet. <laughs> and, uh, we had a bit of a downpour over at Expo West. So my tent is for very thoroughly damp. We're going to make do with what we got. Shall we hit the road? It was really, really cool to go to Overland at Expo West this year. I met so many incredible humans. Being to meet Tim and Marissa was definitely a highlight, but I'm about to get on the freeway and you won't be able to hear me anymore. So I'll check in with you in a bit. Montana and says guilty as charged. Yep. I've been looking for you. Thank you. Do you need the map? I would love a map. Okay. Thank you. Well, enjoy your day. I will. Thank you very much. to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> We're leaving the Grand Canyon. It's kind of hard to put into words what it's like to visit. It's massive, like it, but massive isn't, I feel like that's not, <laughs> Oh, uh, that's not a good enough description. I don't think you can truly grasp how truly huge it is until you see it in person. Wow. Mother Nature crazy. Another place that I have to come back to. Wow. Well, yeah, it looks like we're gonna get rained on. <laughs> at a hotel in Kanab, Utah. Uh, cheap, it's only 61 bucks, so I'm not complaining. And the laundromat is right around the corner. I rode through another two storms on the way here, so I'm extra happy to be in a hotel room to try and dry stuff out. It doesn't look like there's actually a hair dryer, so. Mm, don't know how I'm gonna dry out the tent, but that's okay. <laughs> Kanab, Utah. As you can probably tell by the chaos behind me, it is a chore day. Today is chore day. Most everything is dried out except for my ground sheet and that is okay. The important thing is that my sleeping bag is dried out, my sleeping pad is dried out, and the main body of the tent is now dried out. So that is awesome. I do really need to do laundry. I've showered for the first time in a week and that feels good. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm going to repack all of this business, go to the laundromat, spend at least two hours at the laundromat doing much, much, much needed laundry, which is understandable because I just spent four days in expo that was hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold. So everything sinks, not just hot weather stuff or just cold weather stuff. So I gotta get packing. Laundry done, folded, packed up. All I gotta do is suit back up. And today, we're going to Bryce Canyon. Thank you, Knab Laundromat. My clothes are clean again. Everything is organized again as much as it can be. <laughs> I've wanted to go to Bryce Canyon for ages, ever since I saw one of my favorite artists do some sketches there. So it has been a dream of mine to get to go there and draw for a little bit, so. Let's get on the road, shall we? I got dinner at that restaurant last night. I had some trout from Idaho. Unfortunately, not a food that did well as takeout. Probably should have been better if I had dined in. Oh well. I'm here for the tunnels. I'm here. I'm here for this. <laughs> well, I have made it to Bryce. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get some lunch here and then head into the park and see if I can't grab a campsite. Welcome to home for the night. I can't believe my luck, you guys. I managed to snag a campsite at Bryce Canyon. I don't think I've ever camped inside of a national park before. It's almost impossible to get campsites without reservation, but thankfully there is one campground in Bryce, uh, Bryce Canyon National Park that is uh, first come, first serve only. So I have gotten here, I've snagged it up. It is all mine. I'm gonna set up my tent and then go further into the park and spend the rest of the afternoon drawing. Very excited, very excited. The tent is up and it's only four o'clock. We have made it back to camp. It started to get real chilly while the sun was going down, so I had a really big lunch at the Ruby's Inn, so I climbed into my tent. I do have an apple and a couple oranges that I stole from the hotel this morning. I didn't steal it. Apples and oranges are there for breakfast. I just took them and decided to consume them at a later date. <laughs> anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. I want to give a huge, huge shout out to my patrons on Patreon who make these videos possible. For as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to these videos ad-free before the rest of the world. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. 
I also have stickers, t-shirts, prints, all the cool things on my Etsy shop that are hand packaged and sent to you by me. If you are outside of the US, my Redbubble shop is probably a better bet for you for shipping. And also just a little add on here at the end, a huge thanks to Onyx for sponsoring these videos and making it possible for me to go to Overland Expo West this year and meeting all of the incredible humans I had the opportunity to meet. Question for the end screen crew. Have you ever seen a hoodoo in person? That's what those like weird spires are called. They're so cool. I'll see you guys later. Vans upon vans upon vans.